looked like the black Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the most hilarious antics from Drag Race Queens that sent RuPaul over the edge with laughter. <laughs> Number 10, Scarlet Harlot as Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay, we're so happy you're here. Are you, <laughs> are you happy to be here, Macaulay? Is this my home? Every Drag Race fan knows the number one rule of Snatch Game is to make Rue laugh. But Scarlet Harlot's impression had the host busting a gut before the challenge even started. During Rue's standard walkthrough before Snatch Game, the Drag Race UK Season 3 queen voiced her plan to impersonate Danny Dyer, before reminiscing about her likeness to former child star Macaulay Culkin or legendary actress Tilda Swinton being pointed out. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! I know. Can I see, please, just no. a little bit of your Macaulay Culkin? The decision became crystal clear when Rue absolutely lost it after asking to see her impression of Culkin. Rue is usually so composed on the show, which is why her wheezing, floor-stomping reaction to Scarlett's impersonation is such a joyous moment. I don't even think I've got the clothes with me to do this Macaulay Culkin thing, but if I've made Rue laugh that hard, I can't not do it. Number 9. Jinx Monsoon as Judy Garland Going into the all-winner Snatch Game, expectations were high for Season 5 winner Jinx Monsoon. Her portrayal of little Edie Beale on her original season left RuPaul in stitches. Quite the scandal, actually. Yes. With my cousin-in-law, really. Yes. <laughs> Everyone knows Ru gets a kick out of her queens teaching the children about the legendary divas. And with her performance as the biggest diva of them all, Jinx Monsoon definitely delivered. I, I said his last name is bigger. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like I was supposed to have written something Filthy. Employing her quirky and body sense of humor, Jinx brought the iconic Judy Garland back to life, leaving Rue on the verge of tears with her impromptu mini-concerts and filthy stories about Frank Sinatra. I always see you looking. <laughs> that was good, Judy. Number 8. Alyssa Edwards as Joan Crawford Unsurprisingly, our next entry is yet another Snatch Game clip. I fought worse monsters for years in Hollywood. Yes, I know. Barbara, please. <laughs> this one is courtesy of the kooky Texas dancing diva herself, Alyssa Edwards. Judging by RuPaul's many, many, many references to the 1981 cult classic Mommy Dearest, it's safe to say that the campy Joan Crawford biopic is one of her favorites. So, the All Stars 2 contestant borrowed heavily from Faye Dunaway's infamous performance as the screen goddess for her Snatch Game impression. Where's the body? Christina, bring me the axe. <laughs> no! If RuPaul's delight at Alyssa's clever references to the movie's dialogue are any indication, then this was a very wise choice. Even when it didn't make a lick of sense, the host couldn't help but admit it was fun to watch. No wire hanger ever! Why? Well, that don't make no kind of sense, but it sure is entertaining. <laughs> Number 7. Red for Filth. Dangerous. Spin. Seductive. Overpriced. Across her two appearances on the show, Alaska was one queen who never failed to make Rue scream with laughter. This was especially true during the eighth week of her original run, when the queens were tasked with creating hilariously sexy perfume ads. Whether you're getting red the house down, your makeup is terrible, <laughs> or just ready to go down. Alaska's commercial, Red for Filth, would ultimately win the challenge. As the queen demonstrated the many uses of her perfume, some of them not safe for work, parts of the commercial were literally drowned out by the host's howls of laughter. Red for filth. Are you red? E for me? Oh, yes. Absolutely loved it. All these years later, it's still impossible to think of Alaska's perfume without being reminded of RuPaul's delighted cackle. Number 6. Miss Vanjie After losing her lip sync in the first episode, Vanessa Vanjie Mateo had a pretty standard exit, until she uttered the now famous catchphrase, her own name. Miss Vanjie! Miss Vanjie! Miss Vanjie! Soon to become the meme of the year, the moment had RuPaul doubling over with laughter throughout the season. It got to a point that fellow judge Michelle Visage would repeat the phrase just to make Ru crack up at the most inopportune times. Miss Vanjie! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you start with me, Michelle! 
Rue even did her own version of it later on in the season, long after Vanjie was eliminated. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best woman win. Angie. Angie. <laughs> it's probably the biggest shadow a first out has left over a season of Drag Race, so it's no wonder Rue wanted Miss Vanjie back for season 11. Number 5. A Sensible 74 Juju B is another queen who RuPaul can't help but love. It's the legendary Eartha Kitt. <laughs> Hello, kitty girl. Whether she's reading her competitors for filth or cutting up in the workroom, Rue is constantly delighted at every single thing she says. Perhaps the most unforgettable moment came during Snatch Game on All Stars 5, when Juju B decided to impersonate singer and actress Eartha Kitt. The first thing somebody notices about me is my big, wet smile. <laughs> <laughs> the performance was a hit. But what really sent Rue, as well as the audience, over the edge was one specific moment. When asked how she would keep her prospective partner warm, Jujube, in a smoldering voice, described sensually walking to the thermostat and simply turning it up. Her response proved too much for Rue, who fell out before Jujube could even finish the joke. And turn up the thermostat to a sensible 74 degrees. <laughs> Number 4. Type 2 Diabooties Drag Race is not the only place you can find Rue's unmistakable cackle. He has asthma. Uh-huh. <laughs> Early onset <laughs> asthma. Yeah. On a 2016 episode of RuPaul and Michelle Visage's podcast, What's the Tea?, Season 7 Queen Katya tickled the host's funny bone in a major way. The topic of discussion on this particular episode was the male anatomy. Katya, who is a fan, described her intense love of men's rear ends as a condition called type 2 diabetes. He needs an inhaler. Type 2 diabetes. Yes. <laughs> lost it at the mic, nearly shattering our eardrums in the process. Katya's offbeat sense of humor and casual vulgarity won plenty of fans on both of her seasons of Drag Race, and clearly, RuPaul was one of them. Everyone loves my bad breath. One extra special thing to know about me is that I'm the sweatiest woman in show business. Number 3. Freaking Chorizo Action! It's time for a party! It's a USA American celebration! Season 3 finalist Alexis Mateo had a barn burner of an episode during the Patriotic PSA Challenge. The queens were tasked with creating a public service announcement in support of American troops overseas, and Alexis took the opportunity and ran with it. And even if I was born on the moon, I will still be in America. As she hurled catchphrase after catchphrase his way, RuPaul nearly fell over in his director's chair. By the time she brought out her chorizo, no one in the room could catch their breath. Only an American, a woman like me, have a freaking chorizo! <laughs> yes, baby! It's proof that there are few things Ru likes her queens to do more than just be stupid, silly, and sickening, no? Number 2. Coco's Roast Realizing she wasn't exactly known for her comedy skills, Season 5 Queen Coco Montrese decided to go the unconventional route for the first ever Drag Race roast. Coco is not a comedian, but RuPaul's long-lost friend from the Brewster Projects is a comedian. She performed her set in character as RuPaul's cousin from the Brewster Projects. The character allowed Coco to shine, and Ru wasn't even able to recover from one joke before being hit with the next, leaving her in stitches. Clearly, the host wasn't prepared to come face to face with her long lost cousin. You know, at the beginning of the show, you come in a room, girl. Hello, hello. Girl, you look like the black Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Rue's explosive laughter was particularly satisfying, given that Coco had been underestimated going into the challenge. Pants so hot, he looked like he in New Orleans and Hurricane Katrina, girl. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Monet's fake out. Not even a face keeny could hide Rue's delight at Monet's fake split. <laughs> Yara's British accent. During Rue's workroom visit, Yara Sofia demonstrated her uncanny British accent. Let me hear some of your English accent. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some water? <laughs> How it sounds? 
By George, I think you've got it! Shangela's bodysuit. This hilarious reveal had RuPaul cracking up through the whole lip sync. Alaska's leg. The All Stars 2 winner got big laughs with this nod to an iconic Real Housewives moment. The only thing fake about me is this. Yes! Alaska and Katya's snatch game. These two queens played off of each other so well that Rue could barely contain herself. How many bones do I win? How many bones do you want? Oh! <laughs> oh. See you after the show, Bubbles. Oh. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Utica's Expressions It started innocently enough. How are my lipstick thespians doing? <laughs> Right. <laughs> Rue was doing the standard walkthrough in the workroom with his season 13 queens. Then, Rue asked Utica Queen if she ever indulged in a certain illicit substance. I am playing a token, token queen. Oh, she tokes the, uh, the <laughs> marijuana. Have you ever smoked weed before? Utica, seemingly unsure how to answer, responded with a variety of inexplicable facial expressions that got wilder as they went on. As unhinged as it is funny, Utica's reaction to a fairly simple question is one of the wildest things we've seen on Drag Race in a long time. Even wilder was RuPaul's symphony of laughter in response. <laughs> Utica had Rue gagging for what seemed like forever while she kept on pantomiming. Did these moments have you cackling with delight? Let us know in the comments below. You look absolutely <laughs> terrific. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.